Hey, what's up, good people? Today we're going to do some simple turkey chili. So I have some lean ground turkey, 93.7. You can see it. I don't know why I'm explaining that to you. We have some yellow onion, garlic, bell pepper, green bell pepper. This is my um, universal taco seasoning, taco fajita seasoning. I make this up myself. We got some cumin. This is another universal thing I use, which is for like chicken and pork, and just chicken, poultry. That's what I meant to say. We got some chili powder. We got some peppercorn medley. We got some chili beans, some regular kidney beans, tomato paste, and diced tomatoes. No salt added. So we're going to take this first. We're going to take this ground turkey, and we're going to brown it in olive oil. I like olive oil, so that's what I'm going to use. And we're going to throw the veggies in here with it. See, it's smoking already. That pot was hot, so let me turn this down. Let me take it down a notch. So I'm going to turn this down. And I'm going to let the smoke clear some because it's way too hot. Okay, so I got the meat in there. And it's not hot as it was. I'm going to brown this turkey. This is the chicken seasoning I'm putting on here. Because the, the flavors will balance it. If you have some of this, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if what what you got in your kitchen, you probably got some, um, some seasoning salt. So you can use that. You you know, this is this is my seasoning salt, basically. But you can use that. But this is mostly for poultry. My chicken and turkey. But yeah, if you got seasoning salt, use that. So we're going to let this brown up some, and we're going to keep chopping at it because we want it like little bitty pieces of meat. We don't want no thick like meatball, ground beef, chili, or what have you. So we're going to let this brown a little more, and then we're going to throw the vegetables in there. Okay, <clears throat> now this is browning up really good. And um, what I did was I put the pepper in there right after um, I stopped the camera. But right now, this way you want to do a, a meat test, a salt test. That's pretty good. So we're going to slide these vegetables in there. And we wanted the onions to get translucent and let the meat get a little bit brown. So we're gonna put all this in there. And the reason why I tasted that right then and there because I'm going to put the, the taco season in next. That's that's going in next. So I'm going to leave the garlic out for now because it will brown and taste like it tastes when it brown. It's, it's too brown. I don't like that taste or that flavor of it. So I'm not going to add that with this. I'm going to let these get translucent and brown first. And the next step, I'm going to add the garlic and the taco seasoning along with the cumin. I'm going to basically add everything I'm I'm gonna basically add everything but the garlic the cumin and the chili powder are going first while I open up the cans I'm gonna let it cook a little bit all right so we got this meat brown some and um, the vegetables cooked nice and good and we're going to add some of this taco seasoning. 
And um, cool, man. I I don't measure usually, but I'm just doing this because I'm working with one hand. <clears throat> you don't need a lot of this cumin because a little goes a long way. And plus, there's a little bit. And, um, the, um, taco seasoning anyway. And the chili beans I'm about to use. But chili powder, you want to be generous on the chili powder. And I mean, you do that to your taste. See that meat brown it up some more. So what we're going to do next is take the um, tomatoes and throw those in there. And we're going to do the beans last. So when I throw the tomatoes in there, that's going to get all that good brown stuff from down there. That's, that's flavoring. So here we got the tomatoes. I'm using it with no salt added. Because I can't eat all that salty food. See this heart healthy? And you can adjust the salt the way you like. You know, if you cooking, well, you know, if you're sharing your chili with other people, it's always a salt and shaker, salt and pepper shaker somewhere around. And they can adjust their food like that. At this point, you want to put the tomato paste in. And once you get how much, whatever you can get out of there, Throw some water in there and put that in there too. I need both hands. I had to use two, two of them can like empty it out how much you ever can, how much you can, and then fill it up with water, throw that in there, fill it up with water, throw that in there. I did, I filled it up with water twice. And as you can see, it's still thick. So we're going to let this simmer for about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And then we're going to add the beans and let that simmer for about, I don't know, another hour. But taste it. At this stage, taste it to see if you need more chili powder, more of your cumin, taco seasoning, or what have you. Just taste it at this stage. And I'm using white red kidney beans and these Bush's chili beans. This is my first time using this. So that's why I didn't put that much chili powder because I don't know how this sauce, this sauce is. So this is just a, one of my variation, one of my ways to cook chili. And oh, I forget. At the end, what we're going to do, we're going to add some um, cornmeal. Not that much, maybe about a, a teaspoon of cornmeal, maybe a tablespoon. That helps stick in this shit. Like, man, you know, it's cold outside, stick to your ribs. When that, when that cold weather disrespecting your bones. If you're from Illinois, the Chicago area, Chicagoland area, you know how cold it gets. And this is the type of food you need right here to, to stick with you throughout the day and maybe the night. So, I'm going to let this go for about 15 minutes and I'll be back. Huh. Oh, one more thing. I forgot the goddamn garlic. the goddamn garlic. I mean, it won't affect shit too much, but god damn it. Sorry, kids, for cursing if you're watching this. But yeah, the garlic pulls the bin in there. 
Put this in there now, baby. And we're going to let that go. Okay, we back. I added a little more water because it was going out fast. So I did a couple of more tasting. Tastings, you know, you always got to taste. So I did a couple of more tastings and I had to add a little more cumin, a little more chili powder. But when you adding, you know, like your salts and stuff like that, do it as, do it in small increments, you know, a little at a time. Because once you put it in there, you can't take it out. So, yeah, and see that, that's that color of the chili. And it's good. And it tastes good. So now for the beans, I'm going to throw them in there. Not throw them in there, but place them in there. So we back again. We're gonna put the beans in here, juice and all. Everything. I know this video a little bit too long, but hey, the chili beans right there. And juice and all, everything. And we're gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes, I say. So that thing get nice and soft. And that the same texture. Sorry, I ain't got the the bright light on. My battery almost died on me, y'all. So bear with me. Simple turkey chili. See, chunky, beanie. We're just gonna let that go. That oh, we're gonna put the um cornmeal in here right now and let it simmer down to the desired thickness. This is thick right here, but we're going to let it simmer down some more, let them get, beans get nice and warm and more soft, softer than they already are. And we're going to plate up. See, I got the condiments and stuff already going over there. Okay, we plated it, played it up. And, um... That's it, that's our finished product, chili. I know the lighting sucks. So we gonna top it with the four Mexican cheese. Right here. Throw some of that on there. I like to do my cheese first. We got the oyster crackers on the plate. And we gonna doop do a dollar per daisy. Doop do a dollar. Golden pipes, as Stacy King will say. Don't hate y'all. Justin Bieber ain't got shit on me. Now we go. Pow. Enjoy. Cook this. Enjoy it. Make it your own. Keep cooking. God bless. Peace out.